Very proud for and, and happy for her. Um, you know, I've seen the, the investment and the work she's done on her game and um, so many of those goals, you know, happen because she's just more courageous than anyone else on the field. First and foremost, you look at, at uh, the past World Cup and you have two new countries that have never competed in a, in a World Cup before. Um, the investment by uh, federations into their women's program, you know, I talked about it earlier. You have youth championships now at all different levels, uh, U17, you know, under 20, and, and all this is is so good and positive for our game because we're understanding the importance of, of development and growing the game. Um, you know, in the States, I mean, whether it's a university level and now our, our professional uh, league, you have in Europe European championships, you have strong leagues in Europe, and, and all of this is helping our game grow. Absolutely, Japan is um, should be spoken in in the same sentence with the U.S. and Germany. I mean, they're uh, the World Cup champions, and and I think not only the fact that they're champions, but the style of football that they play is so attractive, and um, it's it's committed to making sure technically and tactically that the game is played the right way, and you saw the leadership and the passion in which uh, the Japanese players played with. Um, you know, globally, I love the fact that you're seeing African countries come and play, and there's obviously so much more that we can do in South America, making sure that um, that these teams and these women get to play not just every four years, but uh, on a yearly basis, and, and that these national teams and the game in their countries continue to grow. That's one of those kind of fairy tale experiences. Like you, you know, as a group, we did a lot um, of promotions and, and games leading up to it. Um, but I just remember the training was unbelievable. Like I just felt our team came together so well. And then once the tournament started, it was just about expressing everything that you loved about the game and about each other and, and why you played. And then seeing the reaction from the fans of, you know, first for us starting at Giant Stadium being sold out. And then everywhere we went, this kind of momentum and energy grew with the tournament. And I'll never forget knowing how I felt and how my team felt, but looking across and seeing how the Danish women felt. And, and you know, in that first game and knowing why is because they saw their male counterparts getting to play in stadiums like this, and now they had that opportunity. And, and to, to feel good about what you're doing and, and where the game was going. Yeah.